Samantha Pejic. She was part of the world championship team. Now she wants the Olympic chance. Because remember, everyone admits in this sport that there's everything else and then there's the Olympics. It stands alone. And for Sam, she says coming into this competition and being uh, very prepared is such a great, great feeling for her. And being part of that world championship team last year has given her greater confidence, especially right here. Yeah, this is huge. Two, <laughs> two ridiculous moves done back to back. You know, when you, when you start out with that, that back somersault with a, a full twist and then you got to follow it immediately with another flip. It's just crazy hard. But the important thing that Sam needs to prove to Marta right here is that she can hit a routine two days in a row. We've watched her all week. She's been very consistent. She wants to be known as an all-around gymnast, even though she has the power events like vault and floor where she could contribute, but she wants to do beam as well. I asked her why she should be on that 2008 team and she said well 2007 the chemistry was just amazing you know we went out there we did it as a group and I think that that should count <laughs> just to give you an idea in the first day of competition she actually ranked fifth in the competition on balance beam super solid routine just the dismount Two for two. Yeah, this was a big exercise for her, getting beam out of the way. It's huge. Yeah, that is. And, and right here, talk about explanation yeah. mark. Boom. So the tough one is done. You can see the relief from Samantha Pezik and her coach. <laughs> On the balance beam, we resume with Chelsea Memel. And this is a another huge test for Chelsea Memel, but what she is so big at you see that bandage right there i spotted it the other day it was a tattoo i said what the heck is that <laughs> and uh it was she oh, about a month ago she had a bet with her dad and she won and she got to get this tattoo it was the logo from the 2005 world championships where she obviously was the queen the all-around champion every time she looks down they say it gives her a little bit more strength Chelsea also wants Marta Crowley to know that she is a team player and she will do a beamer team with an incredibly high start value hoping to get a big score for the team she has a lot of risk in this in this Starting exercise right here there he's typical front with a half twist it's like this is one of those routines where you can't even catch your breath yeah Tim, I have to say the move coming up here is probably the craziest. The most difficult to land. Blind landing. Bam! Yeah, that, was, that was rock solid. She is fierce. A little bit off. A little bit of a pause between those. That front flip and... Of course, you have, to, sequence. Yeah, and you have to be careful with those because a lot of combinations happening on balance beam and sometimes the athletes rely on those in order to get those extra tenths here and there. Oh boy, that was close right there. She had the second biggest number in day one on the balance beam to Nastia. Stays on. Wow. She's a fighter. She just keeps doing it. You know, she she admits that she's not in the shape that she wants to be after the first day of competition. She was very sore, very tired. 
but her coach right there, Lori Glazer, she said, being sore, you think that's going to stop her at the World Championships? She totally tore her shoulder up and finished the bar routine for Team USA. That's mental toughness right there. Those are very difficult skills. And right through to the dismount, I mean, Chelsea was not going to give in. No way. She's come this far. She's going all the way. And, you know, we're just not seeing many gymnasts stick the landings. That has to count for a lot. Yeah, right there, that certainly does.